Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter, where last time we established the defensive pocket around this area so we could stop those damn Seleucids from coming into our territory and killing us and overwhelming us with overwhelming numbers, which is kind of what they do, those bastards. So we won a victory down here with uh, Drusus, I think? Yes, Drusus won the battle and then we put him up on this ford because, well, he's probably going to be better at holding that area than uh, Patinus's men would be. But luckily, because we ended at the start of a new turn, we finally have our reinforcements, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to swap uh, Skavola up here. He's going to hold this area, perhaps. I'd like it better... Hmm. See, technically he can make it here. Technically he could make it right up onto that area there. But actually, yeah, let's march him up here first. Tap that. And we need to move you. Imperator. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Drusus holding this pass. With the cavalry as his reserve. Okay, so Drusus will hold this pass. March. You will hold the bridge. And you will hold this ford here. Okay, there we go. Imperator. You'll get up on that bridge. Perfect. Alright, cool. I think we're ready. I think we are ready. So we've got an army able to hold this area. We could even start pushing down towards Tarsus. Though I believe we've actually launched our one winter assault already. Yeah, we did. Uh, so. Let's see, are there any good mercenaries? Uh, yeah, yeah, these are good cannon fodder. Because when you're holding a fort or a bridge or, you know, a tight area, it's useful to have cannon fodder troops. So we've got that first legion from, over from Rome. They're hanging out here. They're cool. They're cool. They're ready. This fellow is annoying me. I think we might attack him with um, Bibulus to get rid of him just so we've, we don't have to worry about being attacked on two sides. But let's take a quick look back over Italy, make sure that all of the legions are doing what they're meant to be doing. You are from Augusta. Your Roman Victrix, you need to be first unit. There we go. And you are building me a legionary cohort, a first legion. You, sir. You, sir, you, sir, you, sir. Hoppius Junius Brutus, get over here with Picta. Are there any good troops to hire? No, not really. Get aboard the boats. We need to disembark these guys over here. And you need to start, you need to hang out in Ellis's docks for a minute, and then you need to head back over to uh, Rome again. You need to make your way over to these boats. There's still nothing good. I'm hoping for some more Cretan archers, because generally that's what we're going to need. We're going to need archers and stuff, because what my favorite tactic is, and this is why not having archers in Rome Total Realism being... Uh, recruitable like they are in Rome Total War Vanilla is a little bit harmful to my strategy. Because I like to sit on the defensive and uh, outrange my opponents, it makes it very tricky when I can't actually recruit archers. So if the game lasts long enough that we are able to recruit uh, Asiatic archers, etc. from here, I will be very happy. In fact, I think they might be a tier 2 unit. So we just need... Uh... No, that's Galatians. Is it you who had the Asiatic archers? Nope. Is it you? Yes, it was, which would mean that we can't hire any for a very long time. I could have sworn there was a bigger city that was able to get them. Yeah, there is. There we go, Sardis. How many people are in Sardis? Oh, that's not a bigger city. God damn it. Well, Smyrna? No? Okay, it looks like uh, we're not going to be getting many of those Asiatic archers at all, unless we take Tarsus, because Tarsus, I think, also is able to get them. But we shall see, we shall see. Uh, in Smyrna, though, I would like to get the Auxilia, because we do want to keep everybody happy and under our thumb. So that should be good. I think what we need to do next is we need to send another wave of spies north. We need to know what's going on over in Gaul territory, so we are going to hire up a bunch of spies. Yep, three from Genoa, three from Milan. 
Modern day Milan, obviously. Three from there. Uh, let's get some assassins from here. You're all good. You're all good. You guys are recruiting. You guys are recruiting. You guys are recruiting. I think we're all set. Okay, cool. And we still need a commander for that. Luckily, we've got a board ship here. Tertius, I think we can make it to... Yes, we can. We can make it to Rome. Send him to Rome. Take command. There we go. Alright, alright. We are now on track. Now, the other thing that I would like to do is start building another navy. So, let's get some quinquiriums going. We've got a ton of money to burn, so I'm not too worried about that. Can you... No? Ellis? You can? Cool. Get me some Quinquiremes. I just want to have a strong navy in case we need to go pirate hunting. Rhodes can get us some Biremes because we don't need a whole ton of troops and such. We just need some. Uh, I'd like you to relocate. It would have been ideal if the gates were open because then we could have relocated directly to Pele Pathos. Instead, let's go to here. Yes, Alright, cool. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to spot any ships that they create, because that, that's the only real trouble. Again, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to launch an invasion of this area here, so we can just hold the bridges and hold the fords, and that way we'll be able to lock down the Nile Delta and form a killing pocket, and then we can sweep down from the north and sweep up from the south, and hopefully we'll be able to grab all of this area, or at least the bits that we need for victory. We need Alexandria. That's one of the things that we do need, so Alexandria will have to be our first target. But luckily we can lock that down because there's a bridge right there. So we just set a small token garrison, a uh, small token force to um, siege it properly, and then just park armies on various bridges and we can grab the cities hopefully without being too badly attacked. So that will be the plan. I'm curious also to see how far... Because if I remember correctly, I think I checked on this last session, I may or may not have, but Germania, our ally, the Germans are actually at war with the Iberians, so they're sort of having a, a war above us thing, but they, from the settlements we can see, they don't really have all that many troops here, the Iberians, so we might be able to sweep in and either cut them off by attacking this area or cut them off from their very heartland. Now you'll surrender this turn. That means we need to get rid of this guy. I don't... I think he might just be full artillery. I cannot recall. You are good sailing ships. We will need you. Oh yeah, Thapsus was besieged as well. I completely forgot about that one. So let's go grab some soldiers. Let's see, what, what can we get? Can we get anything good? We can get some Balearics. We've already got three units of them and two units of Gallic Slingers, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. We do need a bit more infantry, so we'll grab these fellas. Grab all of them. And what have you got? Okay, you've got cavalry. You've got likely very superior cavalry. Do we have any cavalry lying around that we can borrow? We've got 40. Yeah, we've got some. Kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel though. Okay, well let's move up. And then we'll give him this cavalry. Can we still attack? We can still attack. And then we'll give him this cavalry. Okay, we can still attack. Is there any good cavalry here? You are Missile Cav, aren't you? And you are Missile Cav too. I'm tempted to grab the Missile Cav. Just because he already has some himself. These Spanish troops uh, recruited in Hispania. They can be found in battlefields all over the Mediterranean. They aren't very good. What about these guys? Superb mounted skirmishes. Why not? Let's let's live dangerously. Superb mounted skirmishes are a go. All right, quick save here and attack. Damn straight, you run. Kill him. Oh right, yeah, we do outnumber him by a fair margin. Fuck it. Fair fights are for pansies. We need one where we outnumber the enemy strongly. We need one where we can fuck him up and not have to worry about the consequences. We're gonna kill him. We should provide in peace what we need in war. Large armies? Huge tracts of land? My body many great scars, honorably earned in battle. I have fought many a foe in open combat. I come to fight today. Who stands with me? 
all of these people. Today we face the mighty Carthaginians, brave men and worthy foes. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations. Not really, because we're here alone too. But anyway. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base cur still has a bite. Well, the I don't think they can run. They their strength by firing at us. We must close and fight them hand to hand, like true men. That's why we have the Numidians. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Now I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past... Except we're attacking the them, you damn fool. Alright, so, cavalry. We want to put all these guys together. It doesn't really matter if they survive or not. They're kind of expendable. So they can hold our flank over this way. We want to put these guys over this way. And our main infantry line, which is going to have to include all of these fellows. Though I might put the Gallic Swordsman all to one side. Alright, there we go. So the Phalanx will hold the center. That's actually a pretty good formation. Well done, game. Well done. You came up with something clever. So, we'll do that. Yep. Cool, cool. Now we'll place all of our slingers together behind them. Like so. And then we'll place the swordsman over here. We have the advantage of numbers, we might as well use them. We need big long lines of formations that can overwhelm them and overlap them. So we'll make the Gauls our kind of smacking fist thing. And you guys don't need to be on defensive, you guys need to be on skirmish, not on defensive, and sure, do the circle thing. Do that circle thing. Alright. Let's march this way. Do it remember to keep my formations? I th think so. We'll see. I think so, though. Actually, you guys should really get up ahead. Mostly. I think it put my infantry in front. I think. I'm just going to redo it, just to make sure that my infantry is where it's meant to be. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do this. And... This. Oh, come on. Yes, that. You will hang out way at the back. And cavalry will go way over there. Okay, that's better. And you guys will just hang out there. Okay, better. Much better. Now, that artillery is going to be a bit of a troublemaker. Kind of need our Numidians to do stuff. Oh, they are doing stuff. Good job, Numidians. Hmm. That's troubling. Send the cavalry on a quick ride. We need them to be out there. Oh yeah, you guys can't run, can you? Stop being in phalanx. Run. I forgot about that, so we have a massive hole in our line right there. Okay, I'm going to put these guys out in skirmish mode. Some of them are going to die, but hopefully those that don't will be able to help. Okay, so he's got two generals. I think this cavalry could probably win in a fight against those generals. We just have to draw them onto our... Uh, we just have to draw them onto us. Alright, cavalry's coming in. 
This isn't the cleverest thing I could possibly do, but these units aren't retrainable anymore. Well, the Italian, yeah, the Italian cab isn't even retrainable. So we might as well use them in a sort of kamikaze thing. Just charge. Run. Good job, cavalry. Get in there. You guys need to fire at will. Oh. They got caught. You know what? Fuck it. Kill. Just jump in there. Everybody, jump in there. Just charge them. If we can kill these sons of bitches, it will be worth every slinger who dies. I don't think that's the actual general. That's a shame. Oh hey, we got one of them. We got Gizgo Gizgo. I think that was Gizgo Gizgo. Charge! Yeah, Gizko Gizko must have been over there, because I didn't get a, um, an enemy general killed message. Which I would have done if it was that guy. Um, oh, goals, get up here. Can we please kill this general? That would be really swell, because I'd, I'd like to run. <laughs> I'd like to run before the pikes get to me. Just FYI. The enemy general flees. Alright, kill him. Kill him. Get him. There he is. Get him. Get him. Got him. Yay. Alright, kill him. It is time to press no, 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 no. Run, run, run the other way. Run the other way. We must make our escape. Flee. And kill the remnants. Hello. We're coming to kill you. And you guys can leave. I really need you. Hi. Boo. You're dead. How do you like them apples? Alright, my Numidians. How many of them versus how many of the enemy is going to be the question here? I think you can take him. Charge! Sploosh. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. We killed their general. They better be running. Oh, what the hell? I'm confused. Whatever. Come on, kill the general. Well, we killed the general, obviously. We killed these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to. Need to. Yeah, let's speed that up. Because either we're going to win it or we're not. Yay! Kill them. Kill the rest of them. Boom, they are dead. Well done. Yes, yes. Heroic victory. So we lost more men than we probably should have, but that's okay. We have the men up here. And we didn't really lose many infantry. We've got uh, some of the slingers were killed. But we got, ooh, we got a lot of them back, actually. We got a lot of the dead ones back. So that's nice. Libyan cavalry, yeah, but they're mercenaries. We weren't going to get many of them back. I think Carthids can retrain them, though. I think that's one of the units that we did get. And they might even be able to retrain Numidian mercenaries. No but we killed both the enemy generals, so that's a thing. That, that happened, and that's very important. Phase 2 auxilia. Oh, Libyan spearmen and Numidian cavalry. I could have sworn that there was Libyan cavalry. Maybe that's uh, Auxilia Phase 3. Probably. Yeah, probably Auxilia Phase 3. I am probably just remembering it incorrectly. Now, you guys. I sort of want to train them on people, but I don't want to train them on folks that are important. 
before I do that. Oh, hey! Hell no, kill that son of a bitch. Nicely done. I saw you there, assassin. Uh, it would have been nice if he got a promotion, though. Um, that's an Amidian diplomat, so I don't want to kill him. That's also an Amidian diplomat. That is also an Amidian diplomat. This one's a Carthaginian diplomat. You have a really high chance of succeeding, but before you do that, did I remember to recruit a diplomat myself? I thought I had. No, I have a spy. I have, I have an old spy. Old spies. Ha, ha, ha. The jokes, I has them. Um, okay. Well, looks like... No, I did not hire a diplomat. I could have sworn that I planned to, though. Maybe I'm misremembering. Either way, you die now. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So this is basically what you have to do. You have to practice with your assassins and your spies before you actually send them out on missions of importance. So let's send these guys down here because even if there's no one here that we can kill, Lepsis Magna is still something that we want. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I will push down to Lepsis Magna. I like to know a bit more about the situation with our friends the Numidians whether they're holding on because I can see Carthaginian territory there so I am curious as to whether the Numidians are actually fighting very well let's have a look at the graph though to go with Num the Carthaginians versus the Num no those are the Illyrians Numidians there we go Oh, they're actually fairly close in terms of military power, so... Hmm. They might be fine. I hope so. If if all else fails, we can recruit a new army of uh, local troops, I'd imagine. Thapsus, I kind of want you to get those things. Just so we've got all these buildings prepared. For when we actually may or may not need them. I'm hoping we generally don't need them, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. So let's go through all of our cities, actually, just to make sure that everyone's building something that's relevant. Abydos can't actually build anything else anyway, so get that, because that'll allow us to get a Phase 2 Auxilia. Get a Phase 2 Auxilia, because that improves law. Nicomedia. How are you not building anything? I could have sworn that I made you build stuff. Maybe I did, and I just didn't finish building things. Um, what are your possible recruitment troops? Really? Yes, yes, yes. I do want all of this. Give me. And then we'll queue that up because we'll need it. They can get citizenship, but I will be happy with just having them on uh, provincial, or at least phase two auxilia. Or phase three. I can't remember which one brings Thracian infantry into it. But if we can recruit Thracian infantry from right here in Nicomedia then we'll have a nice uh, base of recruitment. I don't know if we really need mines. They would increase her money. What what do you mine here? You, oh, you mine silver. We can trade silver as well, so that's worth having. Um, you've already got a massive queue. What do you actually trade though? You, you also trade silver. That's nice. Uh, Heraclea. Can you get any cool special troops? No. I'll get you a phase one auxilia mainly because I want to make sure that we have that bonus to law, but I don't really need all that much. Now, I've read in certain places that if you have it on very high tax rate, the turn that a building is completed, you will get a good tax uh, trait. So let's try that out. I don't know. I, I've never really had to bother with it, mainly because when I'm managing cities in a total war game, you usually end up conquering way faster than you would really need to be worrying about that sort of thing. Uh, you will get a shrine to Saturnus. Kind of want to destroy these temples. Yeah, we're going to. If we have to put them to low, um, low taxes, we will. I'd rather have these temples. Uh, let's get a shrine to Saturnus. We'll destroy all of the temples. And put them on low taxes. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so they won't be too pleased with us for a little bit, but I'd rather have them pissed off at me for a little while and then religious, uh, with the right religion, because having those temples also gives you a culture penalty because you have buildings of a different culture that is not your own. You guys are all good. Do you actually need anything? You're actually pretty close to being able to get uh, the next level of governorship. You don't have the ability to get me anything good though, do you? I don't think. I'm just not going to bother with them. They can do their own thing. I'm not going to bother with them very much. You're all good because I triggered your growth. You're all set and I'll build a phase 3 auxilia here as soon as we can. I might queue up these temples too, just to be sure. I will have to destroy the other temples there as well eventually, but I want to try and get all the uh, critical buildings for troop recruitment done first, so at least we can get soldiers to put down rebellions. Hadramentum's all good, you're all good. You... Actually doing decently. I'm uh, A forum wouldn't be too bad, actually, for you. So I'll get your forum and I'll get your ship right. We don't want to trigger too much uh, population growth in our main cities, because by doing so you will incur more squalor, and squalor in this game is broken as fuck. Now, do you already have a citizenship? Yes, you do, so we don't need to build you anything else, really, in terms of that stuff. I would like highways, though. Just so we've got a concentrated highway network. Most of these places are all set. You could do with some happiness stuff. Did I destroy all the other temples? Mm, yes. Yes, I did. Um, hmm. What are you most pissed off about? Culture penalties and squalor. Alright, I'll build your sewers. We don't want to increase the population growth too much, but building sewers in a few places can be helpful. Eventually, if your game goes on long enough, you'll just be culling settlements because you have to. Masana, you're doing pretty well. Can you get a citizenship? You can. Can you train anything special? You can't, so you don't really need anything anyway. Uh, you could do with a forum too, though, because more money is always good and the population growth bonus here isn't going to be all that much. Great forum? No. No, because there's a lot of people here already. We don't want to push it too much higher than it currently is. You can have a sewer, so you've got a little bit of population growth, but not too much. Regium's all set. Awesome Temple of Saturnus, what does it do? Morale bonus. Eh. Not really all that big of a deal. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Skodra. Eh, no, we, we don't want to waste too much more money. I mean, I know we have tons and tons and tons of it, but I'd like to have um, some in the bank. Provincial barracks is going to be built here. You actually have a lot of people, so we're going to get you some of these so we can send them to the front. Unfortunately, we're almost out of people here, so we might have to send some other units from places like Pella, which can have highways, by the way. In Thessalonica, or you're building a provincial barracks. Larissa? Larissa's just never going to grow, I don't think. Okay, uh, how much public order do you have? You've got a lot, actually. You don't need to have all these people here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys... Oh, actually, how much of that public order is due to the legionaries that are here? Well, you're down to 150%, so that's okay. Uh, we'll send the unit that we can't retrain here, and we'll send these three up to Ratiaria. How much public order do you have left? 110%, just about perfect. We'll get them some Gallic Auxilia, and that should make everybody happy. And we can disband all of these guys next turn in here, and then we can hire more soldiers. Boom! Making progress. I will send these guys over as reinforcement, actually, so hang out over here. And then next turn, we'll send them over this way. We're going to try and not trespass through Thracian lands. I don't know how much of a big deal the AI actually makes of it in Rome Total Realism, 
but I don't really want to push them because they are a kind of large nation and we're currently fighting a three front war basically. Although Carthage is kind of out of it. Carthage is just like, huh, huh, we'll throw some guys at you. Oh, you beat them back. Oh, oh, we'll just have to wait another five years before we send another army at you. Thanks, guys. You people are real champs. So I think that's everything done. I know I'm quick saving a lot, but I don't want to lose this sort of stuff. I think that's everything done. You probably don't really need to be hanging around anymore. I'd like to give him a few more Roman troops. 